Alabama. Hurrah! But before all that, here's some giant fun with brand new Fee Five Fo Yum. But let me warn you, this is giant TV and it's pretty disgusting. You have been warned. I can't wait! Giant Television proudly presents Fee Five Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Earth. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. What are you, you doing? Oh, you can't grab me. I'm a game oh, show. Ah. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it. I can. Put him down, Watch me. Fella. And today's contestants, all the way from South Wales, are Team Athene. And they'll be playing against the Belly Busters, who have come from London. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom. And now, here he is, every giant's favourite host, it's Des Duncan in Les Dennis! Oh! Hello! Thank you very much! Hello and welcome to Fee Fi Fo Yum, the show where the team that's not the winner will end up as Brian's Dinner! That's right, as always, we've got two teams of Hugh Munchies, that's you guys, hoping not to end up in Brian's ever bulging belly. And talking of Brian, put your hands together for the giant himself. Sorry, Jez. Not feeling too good. I think I might have eaten too many humanches yesterday. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, <laughs> Brian! Oh. Are you feeling better now? No, not really, Jez. OK, if I get on with the show? OK, yeah. oh. let's meet the teams. And first of all, we meet... Team Ephine! <laughs> that nearly rhymes, Team Ephine. Hello, Lewis. Hello, Les. How are you? Fine, thank you. Introduce us to your team. This is Davin. Hi, Les. Hi, Davin. This is Ang Harad. Hi, Les. Hi, Ang Harad. That is Neve. Hi, Yef. Hi, Neve. And that is Yestin. Hi, Les. Hi, Yethin. You speak Welsh, of course. I speak Welsh myself. What? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it means. Maybe you could tell me. Okay. Dween Vunky Maur. Uh, I'm a big monkey. Yes. Is that what it means? Yes. OK, well, you're probably right. That's Team Athene. <laughs> Let's go over and meet the Belly Busters! <laughs> and leading up the team, we've got Osama. Hi, Osama. Hi, Les. Introduce us to your team. Well, this is Louie. Hi, Les. Hi, Louie. This is Abigail. Hi, Hi Les. Abigail. This is Amy. Hi, Les. Hi, Amy. And that is Khalees. Hi, Les. Hi, Khalees. OK, <laughs> that's the team. <laughs> this is how we play Fee Fi Fo Yum. You will compete in a series of games to try and earn time. What does time mean? Freedom. That's right. The more time you earn, the more chance you have in the great escape at the end of the show. Remember, the team that gets beat, Brian's gonna... Eat. Yes, as you know, Every giant likes his five a day. <laughs> Could be them. Could be them. <laughs> Let's get on with game one. Now then, Brian's favourite food, apart from humunchies, of course, is meatballs and sprouts. He loves them, though I don't know how he'll feel about them today. Your job in this game is to feed him as many as possible using the catapults that he's given you made out of matchsticks and plasters. And they are new plasters, I've checked. The team that feeds him the most will win the first five-second lifeline. OK. Brian, who's going to play? Fee, fi, fo, yum. For this game, I'm going to pick... Ang Harat and Davi. Bit of salt and pepper, and you'll be delicious. And I'm gonna pick Kelise and Louis. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You munchies in my tummy. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Feed me! <laughs> Team Ephine, you'll be firing sprouts. 
Belly busters, you'll be firing meatballs. You have until Brian's egg timer runs out to feed him. Good luck. Brian, over to you. Ready, steady, feed me. That's it, support your teams. That meatball is right. Oh, he's getting plenty of sprouts. That's it, his belly button. Nearly. Oh, that was a close one. That went up his nose. Playing to eat, Brian. I hope your tummy's going to be all right. Oh, the old son. Oh. Oh, that's a big clip for Brian there, I think. That goes up his nose. Chew that one, that one went right down. Okay, that's it. As Brian says, time's up. Back to your podium, teams. That should keep Brian's stomach rumbling for some time. Brian, how many sprouts did you eat? Eight. And how many meatballs did you eat? Four. Wow! All right, Brian. Sorry, Dad. So that means the first five-second lifeline goes to Team Effie. Well done. <laughs> but there's still plenty to play for. That's all for part one from Fee Five Po Yum. See you soon. I think I need a little giant's room. <laughs> 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 When you're in a hurry and you're going to be late It's time to get some breakfast served up quickly on your plate So when you're in a hurry with the ground that is calm Grab Humanchi Crunchy and the job is done Your Humanchi Crunchy is packed with the hearty goodness of thousands of Humanchis Lightly toasted until golden brown and glazed in honey for that extra crunch Humanchi Crunchy Make sure breakfast is fun Grab you munchy crunchy and the job is done! You're watching GTV. Can't seem to go. Oh, Must be some form of blockage. <laughs> Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yum! At the end of round one, Team Affine got the first five second lifeline, but there's still plenty of time up for grabs. And what does time mean? <laughs> That's right, the team with the most time has the best chance of escape at the end of the show. Now then, this is Brian's favourite part of the show. Y you sure you're feeling well enough to do this, Brian? Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. That's great. Off you go then, you introduce it. It's Daddy's Tasty Challenge! Oh, you keep... Do you do this on purpose? It's Les's Tasty Challenge! Oh. Sorry, Des. <sighs> Desi's Tasty Challenge! Do you know what, Belly Busters? This part of the show makes me really irritated. What was that, Des? Uh, I said, uh, Brian, you must be c c constipated. Mm. Well, I think you might be right there, actually, yeah, Des. Good. Moving on, then. So, teams, under this dish, Brian has put some type of food. I don't know what it is. You have to guess how much of this food I can eat in 30 seconds. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Thank you. <laughs> so, let's reveal the meal. Oh, how lovely. Lovely. Sour cream. Oh. How lovely. I can't wait for this. But before I do, you're going to have to put down your guesses. How many spoonfuls do you think I can eat in 30 seconds? So put them on your boards, but don't show your opposing team. Keep them to yourself. You can confer. 
You need to think how many spoonfuls of this sour cream I can eat in 30 seconds. I think about nine. Less. 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 All right, teams, out of your huddle. I'm ready, as I'll ever be. Brian, can I have my light, please? OK. Go less! Twenty. The audience is putting me off going, yeah. <laughs> Fifty. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. <laughs> You've started, so you're finished. I have finished, all gone. <laughs> all right, Des. There you go. A bit of chives and a couple of crisps. That would have been really nice. <laughs> Team of Fien, what was your guess? We guessed nine. Nine? Hmm. OK, did I manage nine? Did I manage more? And Belly Busters, what was your guess? We got four, Les. Well, let's oh. find out. Brian, how many spoonfuls of sour cream did I eat? Des? You have just eaten 11 spoonfuls of sour cream. 11! How many did you say? Nine. That's the closest. So you've got another five seconds. Well Not done, fun. Team of You and Chris Lee. Plenty of time to catch up. And we'll find out soon which of our humunchies these guys will end up in Brian's tum. Stay tuned. <laughs> Me too. Just wish I could go. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Giant. What seems to be the problem? Ah, sounds to me like you're suffering from a nasty case of B5 block bum. Well, have we got just the cure for you? Yes, why not try our all new and improved block bum gum? Just one piece of block bum gum relieves constipation in seconds. Yeah, one quick chew and you'll be able to poo. Guaranteed! <laughs> Go easy on that gun, Mr. Giant! Too much germ result in too much pooing! <laughs> Block bum gum is part of the Bob Buster health range. We cannot accept responsibility for any horrendous side effects you may face. Please chew responsibly. We've got it all on Giant Kelly. Back now to Les Dennis. Mm. Mm. Welcome back to Fee by Foyum. At this stage in the game, Team Affine have a 10 second lifeline. And the Belly Busters have yet to score. But don't worry, there's plenty of time up for grabs as we play our next game. Now then, Brian loves to play with his food, especially when it's alphabet soup. We want you to dive into the soup. Get some letters out. The team that makes the longest word will win that all-important five-second lifeline that could be crucial when we get to the Great Escape at the end of the show. Is that clear, teams? Yes! Yeah! Let's find out who's going to play. Brian? Brian? <laughs> Sorry about that, Des. I had a bit of a breakthrough, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean, Brian. Who's going into the bowl? Hmm. I think I'll have Yestin and Amy. And who will be making the words? I'm going to pick you, Lewis, and Neve and Osama. And Abigail. Brian's made his choice. Let's play! Alphabet soup! Yes, Din and Amy, you're going in for the letters. You'll pass them to Neve and Abigail, who will pass them to Lewis and Osama, who will make the words. You have, as always, until Brian's egg timer runs out. Good luck, teams. Goggles on. Three, two, one. Go for it, teams. Remember, eight letters at any one time. 
Get your eight letters out, and then you can choose which ones you like. That's the secret of this game. Okay, you both got. You got three. You got three. You got next. Swap it with this. Come on, Amy. You can do dark. Come on, Daddy. It must be a problem. Thirty seconds left. Come on. No more than eight at one time. Remember how many got there? Amy. Wait, wait, Amy. You got seven letters there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Let's see how you did. Team Affine, you've come up with driver. Well done. That's a six letter word. Stop looking through your dictionary, Brian. It is a word, OK? Well done. And over here, belly busters, you've come up with cleans. That's a six-letter word. Well done. That means you both get a five-second lifeline. Well done, team. <laughs> that could be really important when we get to the great escape at the end of the show. We're going to have a break, but pay close attention to the commercials because I'll be quizzing you on them after the break. You can play along at home as well, although your life doesn't depend on it. We'll see you then. Are you a messy eater? Fed up with your food getting stuck in your beard? Well, help is at hand in the shape of the Waste Not Want Not Beard Bag. Its super suck action will have your beard free of crumbs in next to no time. Buy today and you'll receive this handy beard vac food tray absolutely free. Hey, waste not, want not. Warning, the waste not, want not beard vac should not be used near animals. So, say goodbye to that food-filled face and hello to the waste not, want not beard vac. Limited one-time offer, 87 grots. Does your washing powder get your laundry disappointingly clean? Does it gleam and smell of summer meadows? It's time to switch to Grimo! Grimo! Sweaty stains? No problem! Gravy slops? Sorted! Mud and mucus? Guaranteed! In fact, Grimo will refresh your laundry with nearly 20 different smells and stains. I didn't think it were possible! Oh! Go on, take a sniff. You know you want to. Oh, it's all I ever wanted. Thank you, Grimo. Grimo! <sighs> Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yum. So now, teams, have you been paying close attention? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. we'll find out as I'm about to quiz you on the ads you've just watched on GTV. Press your buzzers if you think you know an answer. If you give me the right answer, then I will give you a two-second lifeline. Be careful, though, because if you buzz in and you don't give me an answer or you give me an incorrect answer, I'll pass it over to your opponents. Team Affine, you currently have a 15-second lifeline. Well done. <laughs> Belly Busters, you currently have a Five second lifeline. Not so fun. you need some seconds, and this is your last chance to win valuable time. Fingers on your buzzers. Good luck as we play. Ad analysis. Question one If you bought a waste not, want not beard back, what free gift would you receive? Belly busters. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Um, a free collection tray from your bed. Um, a free fr food tray. Free fr fr food tray you collect from your bed. OK, Osama, let's see if you're right. <laughs> yes, you are right. Well done, you get two seconds. And they are vital seconds for you. Question two. Beard vax come with a warning and should not be used near Team animals. Team of these. Um, it, it should not be used um, near animals. Let's see if you're right. Warning, the waste not, want not beard back should not be used near animals. Yes, well done, 
two seconds to you. It faces your lead. Question three. How much was the waste not want not Belly beard busters. back? Belly busters. 87 groms. groms. 87 groms. groms. OK, let's have a look if you're right. You said groms, but we will give you grants so well done you get two seconds. <laughs> 87 is what we were looking for. Question four. In the Grimo washing powder ad, what were the first words the giant said? Belly busters. Um... Um, um... Gonna need an answer. Come yes. on, you munchies! Is, is your washing or sock... <laughs> no, Disappointingly no, it... clean? No, that wasn't it, I'm afraid, Abigail. So we'll pass it over to Team Ephine. We need the first words the giant said in um, the ad. Uh, 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 it's all I ever wanted or something like that? Oh. No, D um, Disappointingly clean. Disappointingly clean? Disappointingly Let's clean. have a look. No. No, it was quite simply, oh, no. So you nobody get gets wrong? any seconds then. Yes. Question five. According to the ad, Grimo will refresh your laundry with up to how many different smells Belly of busters. stains? Yes. Belly busters. 20. 20. Let's have a look. In fact, Grimo will refresh your laundry with nearly 20 different smells and stains. Yes, absolutely. Well done. You got the last question right. <laughs> so, Team Athene, you got... Two seconds. Well done. Ooh, yes. Belly busters. You got six seconds. Oh, All right. Yes! How will that affect your overall scores? Let's find out. After a word from Jim Elastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Les. On today's Get Up and Go Go, sponsored by Go Go Giant. I'm going to be showing you giants how to get fit, fit, fit. So join me, Jim Elastic, after Fee Fi Fo Yum, right here on GTV. Oh, sorry. I think I've just crushed someone. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yum. Now things are getting serious. This is down to you, teams. Brian isn't picking anymore. You have to decide who is going to take on. The Great Escape. Go into your hobble. This is a really important decision for both teams. Whoever steps up to the mark has the fate of their teammates in their hands. No, belly busters, belly busters. Hmm. I will do my best. OK, we need to know now, Team Ephine, who's going to play? It's definitely Davin. So, Davin, you are playing for yes. Team Ephine. And what about the belly busters? Who's playing for you? Osama. Right, Davin. And Asama, it's time for the Great Escape. This is it, Davin and Asama. Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice, <laughs> and their future hangs literally <laughs> in the balance. It's down to you two to try to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then, it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. But watch out for those meatballs. Once safely through, it's on to the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian will be swinging those tea bags. Once across, you must complete the chalk bar challenge, building a walkway to Brian's big bowl. And then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player who gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates go to freedom <laughs> through the freedom shoot. And I'm sure I don't need to remind you, the team that's not the winner will be Brian's... Dinner! I'm starving, Des. Gotta have my five a day. Brian's getting mm. really hungry. Team Affine, you have a total lifeline of 17 seconds. It's very, very good. Mm. Belly Busters, you have a total lifeline of 11 seconds, so that means, Team Affine, you have a six-second lead. Mm. Davin, you will go on Brian's first whistle. Osama, you will go on Brian's second whistle. Good luck. Brian, 
Are you ready? Yes, Des, I'm ready. Good luck. Run for your lives. Oh, Dobbin's off. He had a little trip. Osama's behind him. Got both into the rolling pin run. He's caught at that six seconds really quickly. Dobbin's on the rolling pin run. Watch out for those key bags. Osama's on. Oh, and he's on. down. Back to the star. Dobbin's taking it very cautiously. Osama's through! He's caught at that six seconds really well. And he's on to the chop bar challenge. Osama's having a little trouble with the chop bar challenge. Is that right? This is really close. Come on, you've nearly completed it. Yes. Okay, up the slippery slope. Osama, you need to finish that chop bar challenge to get into the soup. Damn it. Oh, this is where it gets tough. It's really slippy in there. So slippery. Dad is halfway up the slippery slope. Will he fall back again? He's back into the soup. Osama's still on the chop bar challenge. You were foiled there by the chop bar challenge. So, you failed to release your teammates. That means you're not the winner. You're Brian's dinner. dinner. Over to you, Brian. Tasty. Ah! Rules are rules. That went down a tree. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! You man. I'll hear you. Ah. Fee, fi, fo, yum! Ah. Mm, delicious. That's it from Fee, fi, fo, yum! Brian's got his appetite back and he's enjoying his five a day, but that won't keep him happy for long. Join us next time when two new teams of few munchies will fight for their freedom and try and stay out of Brian's tum. We'll see you then. Say goodbye, Brian! Goodbye, Brian! a lot wilder. Because we're coming to a town near you and we're bringing some deadly friends with us. Join us for deadly animals and wild adventures to kickstart your wild weekend. Because this is the Live and Deadly Roadshow. Live every Saturday at 9 on the CBBC channel. <laughs> Yes, uh, so just so you know, do you understand? Uh, yes. Just explaining to him, we're on two channels right now, right? All right. BBC One, that's him just there. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> and we're also on the CBBC channel. No! Us. Yeah, that's those ones there. <gasps> right. Oh, look at that! Welcome, welcome. So, <laughs> finally, BBC One. One. Uh, you all right? Yeah. And also, CBBC. CBBC. Oh, got yeah, that. got it, got it. We're on yeah. both channels right now because at 5.30 today, exclusive to the CBBC channel, we have got brand new Salmon Marks TMI Friday. It's going to be a good one, isn't it? It's going to be wicked, mate. In yeah. fact, Salmon Mark right now are making a few last-minute preparations. Mm. 
Hi there, I'm Mark. You may recognise me from shows such as Who Wants to Be a Superhero and Skate Nation. Hi there, I'm Sam. You may recognise me from such shows as Copycats and Junk Nation. You sound weird. And you need to get your makeup done as well. Oh, Mark! It's my scary mask. I was meant to scare you. Did that not work? Well, you still need to get your makeup done. We're on at 5.30. That's true. Actually, yeah. If you want to see some top celebrity guests, some top sketches just like the one you've just seen, make sure you tune into Sam and Mark's TMI Friday, 5.30, on the CBBC channel. Isn't that right? Mark! Oh! See you at 5.30. So juvenile and unprofessional, scaring your fellow co-presenter like that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>